hi guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to couple this bustier blouse with draped yoke i already did a video on how to cut it and i'll be dropping the link to the video in the description box please check it out so that you know how to cut this if you don't know so let's get started now these are the fabrics i'll be using i'm using this lace and then bright double face bridal satin for the interlining cutting lining and then next thread and zip so i've cut the first the front pattern and i had a same allowance to the front side and the back and then the lining i reduced it by 1.5 inch so i'll drag it so i used the door face to cut the lace also now i did the same thing for the back pattern because it's an asymmetric uh, neckline so i have to cut each piece of the back separately so unlike the way i did for the front the front i was able to maneuver it a bit so the back i cut each piece adding seam allowance to the front and the back and this is the front side and the front and the side that's 0.5 to join it to the center back to join the side back to the center back and 1.5 seam allowance so i use it also to cut the lace fabric i use the dolphins to cut the lace fabric and i also reduce the lining by 1.5 then this is the yoke for the back that we're going to be fixing on it so now i've cut the breast foam that i'll be using for the front i have a video on where i showed how to cut this breast part for it i also dropped the link in the description box for those that may not know how to cut it so i'll be joining the side front to the center front using half inch seam allowance to join it you're going to pin it well before sewing now this is the yoke for the front you may decide to slash and spread it like i'm doing this is the yoke that i cut out from the video that i did earlier or you can just use this as a um a guide when you are um when i when you cut a net like my i cut the net directly and then like this i measure the length that i'll be using that's longer than the actual length of that um cut out then the wideness is times four of the strap to strap of the person that the strap to strap of the person is six when you open it up is 12 all right so 12 times four will give you 48 so that was what i use as the breadth and then the length is about although the length that i needed was just like 14 but i made the length to be like 20 so that i don't rush short so it was 24 by 20 and then i decided how wide i am the to gather it back so i just measure like you measure it you're going to gather the net to the strap to strap of the person which is 12 that's when you open it up on four strap to strap of the person is six for some people is five so i've gathered the net so i'll be sewing it i'll be pinning it down on the front pattern like this and then i'll cover it up with the lining i've also joined the lining using half inch seam allowance to join the parts together so this is how it's come it came out like i said you may just instead of slashing it open like this you may use the the cut out yoke as a guide so me i already measure it and i know that from the center from this side it's 14 and then at the ham area is seven so i'm just going to connect the lines together or you can also prepare a prototype of your cut of your yoke so that you use it as a guide okay so after i've verified it i've i will be sewing it to the lining then if you have a dress phone you may also decide to drape it like this on a dress phone but i don't have so i just use someone that has the kind of shape of the person also to verify that what i'm doing is right so that that place is not too tight or too loose on the person so i just verify using the allowance that i have and then i chalk the parts that i'll be holding together that i chalk where it will hang and you know that net is actually stretchy so i have to stretch it out well the way i want the firmness to be on the person's body and then i chalk the point out so that that's where i'll be using machine to hold together so right now for the back we're going to be joining the side back to the center back for the two uh, sides because there will be zip at the midpoint so i did the same thing for the lining and the fabric and then this is the yoke for the back so i'm going to be turning it with net then i'll fix it to 
the side that the yoke is supposed to be because like i said the back is an asymmetric neckline a part is with shoulder and the other one is off shoulder so this part now is with shoulder i'll be fixing the yoke to it and the other part we have cut out um, the ham area to fit in as an off shoulder okay so you're just going to pin the yoke to the main fabric front side facing front side before you now place the lining on it and then you make sure that you leave your um, zipper allowance you're not going to sew the yoke to reach the zipper allowance point based on what we have already drafted out okay so i just pin it to make sure that what i'm doing is right and then i use the cutter to check and verify to know where the yoke ought to stop so i'll be sewing the lining on it the neck area half an inch the down part half an inch like i said i reduce the length of the lining and then i'll be sewing the uh, so that's where you drag it it will come out like the way the front is so that the lining is not showing on the down part okay so i've done that i've sewn the yoke and i've turned it down and the side to 0.25 so right now we're going to be fixing the zipper on it what is remaining for the zipper allowance is one inch so we are going to be pinning the zip half inch away from the edge so i pin the two sides the way i the uh, zip ought to be after sewing before i will now sew i always make sure that i pin it well before taking it to the sewing machine so that whatsoever comes out to come out perfectly okay so i've done that and then we're going to be shaping it the method of shaping is when you place the front and the back together and then you use the person's measurements to shape so i'm going to be placing the front and the back together so you are going to measure you are going to measure the bust and divide it by two because right now we are opening it up okay so we are not going to be dividing like by four like when we're drafting so you make sure that every point of this um, garment is aligning where the front and back you can pin it down to make sure that they are equal if there's any excess at the side you make sure that the excess you distribute it on both sides so i measure the balls right by two what is remaining is like three so i put 1.5 on one side and 1.5 on the other side then the under bust i measure it what was remaining is like, is like four and then i put two inches on one side and two inches on the other side then the waist measurement divide by two also whatever is remaining you divide it by two put half in one side and put the other half in the other side and then the blouse length measurement so that's how you're going to do it in order to get the line that you'll be sewing on to have a perfect fit on the person it's very important that you measure the person accurately so that you don't have any issues but if there is any issue you can always since there is adjust the uh, seam allowance you may you can always hold it or lose it a bit depending on the situation so after that i've cut out the sleeve and so I'll fixing the sleeve on the hamper area part that's the part that has a sleeve so i'm fixing it pushing it inside and then i'll sew it uh, that i kept the sleeve front side facing front right side of the fabric of the main garment and then i'll be sewing with half an inch now for the off shoulder part i cut a strap a band and then i'm draping on it the band i use a uh, four inches or four and a half on fold that's what, plus seam allowance one inch depending on the person's body if the person is medium size you may have to use 3.5 on fold plus seam allowance but if the person is a bit fat you may use from four to 4.5 or five inches so that's on fold when you open it up it may end up as 12 or 11 as the case may be so i drape net on it and i use the same fabric as lining i sew it and i brought it out and it's looking like this so that is what i use as the band on the clothes you can see that to make this is very easy watch the cutting video if you have not watched it if you are new to the channel please kindly subscribe to this channel there are lots and lots that you will learn on the channel if you have found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up thank you